Hello friends, in this video we will explore fly, one of the long read genome assembly tool. So uh, today's topic will be, uh, we will be exploring fly and, and its features, followed by we will explore like how to install it, then uh, we will walk through the different uh, assembly steps and then uh, we will do the hands on session of uh, assembly using fly. So uh, apart from fly, there are many long read genome assembly tools. We have seen Sasta and besides fly, we have Miniasm, WTDBG2, Kanu assembler like that many tools are there. So we will be uh, at the end of this video series, we will be comparing uh, the assembly tools, all of them using Quast as a tool, which will, which will uh, compare these tools uh, in terms of their assembly statistics, like how the assembly, all these tools perform uh, assembly. Okay. Coming to uh, fly, it is a de novo assembler for single molecule sequencing reads such as those produced by PEG Bio and Oxford Nanopore technology. Like Sasta was just meant for uh, Nanopore technologies, but this tool can be used for both PEG Bio as well as Nanopore platform. And it has been designed for you know a wide range of data set from small bacterial assembly to even large mammalian scale assemblies. And uh, this package. Uh, represents a complete pipeline. So, what does it mean? That means it takes the raw PEC bio ONT reads, okay, as input and it does the error correction, it, it does the policing and it does everything and finally it outputs the polished contact sequences, okay. And again, it can support PEC bio either raw, raw reads or corrected reads or even hi fi data. It supports similarly for ONT reads, either raw or corrected data can be imported to, uh, can be given as input to this tool okay and uh, the installation uh, is given here the link and it's very simple you need to clone the repository and once you clone it you need to change into the directory fly and simply type make command so this will install uh, the tool in in your system so uh, the assembly steps is common uh, similar to all the assembly steps like once we get the data sequencing data we first needs to convert the raw data to you know fast queue format for example if in case of oxford nanopore we can use guppy to convert it same way for pec bio nanopore we can use some pec bio platform specific tools which can help to convert the raw data to obtain the fast queue file so once we have the data in fast queue format next step what we do we do the we should do the quality check and if you know do some trimming adapter removal those kind of cleanings we need it and once we have a clean data then in the next step we use fly for assembly and fly after the assembly process is finished, then we can check the assembly statistics using Quast as a tool. So now uh, the uh, we'll see the command. So assembly using fly. The command is very simple. Like you type the path to the fly command. Then you see how many threads you want. So in this example, we say like there are six threads we want to use. So hyphen t six. Then what is the uh, input data type? So if so, in our example, we will be using uh, Nanopore raw data. So we will be giving Nano raw. Other options are PEC bio raw data or PEC bio corrected data, you know, or PEC bio hi fi data. Same way, Nano uh, pore, you know, um, corrected data. And other options are there like sub assemblies. That means if you want to refine or do a consensus, so we can use this parameter. So in this case, we will be using Nano raw and followed by the input fastq file. Then. Uh, then we have to give you know, if uh, some this parameter like genome site which is approximate uh, genome size this is uh, not i mean mandatory it is optional but it's uh, if you know the genome size then you can give the approximate genome size in this case uh, 1 million is sufficient uh, the example uh, so we are giving 1 million here and then we will be uh, giving the, you have to give the output directory where you want to dump it so here let's uh, create a folder we say that you know or dump the result into fly underscore assembly folder so once this command finishes the results will be you know it will create multiple uh, folders like you say assembly consensus repeat contiguous policing so it does end to end right and at the end uh, it it will generate uh, the FASTA file in the form of assembly dot FASTA. so this will contain the context so first let's run this command sorry um, so what is it uh, Okay, so uh, so let's uh, copy this command and uh, paste it here. So 
So you see uh, we have uh, the demo nt.fastq, this is the input file. So uh, first uh, I will replace the fly to you know the path to you have to give the path to the fly come up fly so which is installed in this path and then uh, number of thread 6 then here we have to uh, substitute the first queue file so the first queue file is here and rest everything is same okay so this will take you know some time to run uh, you know so that's why i have already ran it before okay so uh, let's go to that directory so this is the output folder so you can see many uh, uh, you know folders but important thing is like this assembly dot faster okay so we can check how many uh, contexts are there by simply grep and we can type wc minus l so that means uh, now you see there are 78 contexts are there so fly assembled uh, this thing into 78 contexts so what we did we uh, type this command you know apply this nanopore we fast file that's all and we have the faster file is available in the uh, fly assembly folder so we go back to the previous folder so now in the next step what we will be doing we'll be using quast okay so in this uh, quast so now we have we have to give the output folder where the quast results will be dumped and then we have to give the input faster file so which is there in the fly assembly folder so let's uh, copy this command so uh, okay so now type this command so again quash.py i will replace this with uh, the original uh, path in my system so which is located over here so then <coughs> then we give the fly assembly quast folder and then we give the input file which is the assembly dot faster so it will take some time to run and once it finishes so now good it finished soon so now we will go over here so let's uh, this is the output folder okay so fly assembly quest folder and here let's open the report.html file so uh, so this since we are not using reference sequence so this is all the statistics are without reference so there are around 78 contexts are there and if we apply different base pair you know threshold the number of contexts will change for example there are 73 uh, contexts are there which are having size greater than 10000 base pair Similarly, there are 61 contexts are there which are having greater than or equal to 25,000 base pair their length. So this way this shows the distribution of uh, contexts as per the you know different threshold and largest contact length is this thing and total assembly size that means if we keep on if adding there are 78 contexts if we uh, add all the uh, contact length uh, finally the genome or assembly size would be roughly this much and again if we apply different you know threshold the how the assembly size will change. Ultimately, it gives N50 value, 87811. That means it is that uh, value. This and any context beyond, you know, uh, means longer than this. If we add up, so that then that will form 50% of the genome size. Okay. Similarly, N75 value is around 6478, and uh, L50, L75 values are also there. And and the finally, this shows that percentage GC content of this assembly is around 47.16%. And quest is also you know summarizes the above parameter in the form of uh, you know uh, different plots so here the first plot is cumulative length plot where the x-axis represent uh, the different uh, contigs okay so now we have 78 contigs so 0 dot 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 all the 78 contigs and if we keep on adding the you know uh, uh, contigs together then finally how the uh, genome or assembly size increases and finally this is the total assembly size when we add all the 78 contigs so next plot is the nx plot so where x axis consists of what is the n levels like n10 n20 n30 like here we will see the n50 value we can see that n50 value is around 87 811 811 is n50 value so lastly like we can check the gc content it clearly shows the normal distribution and there is a slight peak is that that means some contexts are there which are having higher gc content around 80 percent so you can also check by contexts Okay, so you can see that one assembly or I mean one contig is there whose GC content is between 35 to 40, three contigs between 40 to 45 and majority of them that means 71 are there which are between 45 to 50 percent GC content are there and two contigs with 50 to 55 and there is just one contig which is having higher uh, in the GC content that is between 60 to 65. So this way along with uh, this raw statistics and this different plots we get an overview of uh, the different you know. Uh, uh, like how the uh, fly has performed the assembly okay so in summary uh, what we did like uh, first we used fly for assembly 
okay so once assembly we got the first file then we used quash to generate the uh, uh, statistics so uh, in so in next videos we will see other tools and last we will be using quash again to compare all the assemblies like sasta you know uh, fly you know other like tools mini miniasm and all so we'll see how the assemblies are varying uh, from each other okay so thanks for uh, watching this video hope uh, this video was useful so if you like then please like and share and if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe to the channel and yes press the bell icon thanks a lot for watching thank you